If you live in the Uncompahgre Valley, you're part of a vision that began over a hundred years ago. In 1909, the fledgling U.S. Bureau of Reclamation revealed one of four of its first major projects, the 5.8-mile Gunnison Tunnel, an engineering marvel and the longest irrigation tunnel in the world at the time. Then-President William Howard Taft was present to officially open the tunnel, enabling a semi-arid zone in the southwest to be transformed into a thriving agricultural community. A century later, that vision was expanded when Delta Montrose Electric Association, together with the Uncompahgre Valley Water Users Association, announced plans to construct a multi-million dollar hydroelectric plant along the South Canal, which delivers water from the Gunnison Tunnel to the valley. So-called small hydro plants, such as those under construction along the South Canal, are described by the U.S. Department of Energy as having several significant advantages. This is obviously a very good thing for our community. It helps keep some of that money that we used to send off to other areas in the country. It keeps it local. Uh, helps develop our local economy. Oh, I think it's a great benefit. You know, I mean, it's not only a secondary use of the water, but the uh, it's just it'll help. Uh, you know, hopefully keep uh, costs or, or you know construction costs or maintenance costs on the canals that we have to right now pass on to the the uh, producers. The uh, it'll help keep them costs down to where we have another another source of income. Small hydroelectric generation is a renewable and decentralized source of electricity that is typically employed with very minimal environmental impact. It is estimated that the South Canal project itself could eliminate more than 275,000 tons of carbon from entering the atmosphere over a 30-year period, while producing about 6 to 7 megawatts of capacity each season. DMEA, together with the Water Users Association, officially broke ground on the South Canal Hydroelectric Project on May 25, 2012. The project comprises the construction of two run-of-river intakes and two powerhouses that operate without additional water impoundments. The facilities are located on two of three previously identified sites, labeled Site 1 and Site 3. Site 2 was reserved for potential development in the future. When operating, the two facilities generate an estimated 27 million kilowatt hours of electricity, roughly equivalent to the power used by 3,000 homes. Electricity is produced uniquely during the irrigation season to match the existing flow of water. As construction commenced, work crews from contractor Mountain States Hydroelectric had to overcome some challenges. Some of the challenges are obviously soil. Anytime you dig dig big deep holes, you have soil challenges. The adobe material, we soil nailed, we secured the walls. Once you start digging, you encounter different things. We've always got a secondary third plan, always. So we we pretty much stuck with the plan of what we started with. In this particular case, we had a gold metal trout fishery in the Gunnison River. The Gunnison Tunnel diverts water from that river and historically has just been accounting for fish losses. What we ended up doing to kind of address that particular situation was we installed an electric barrier that keeps the fish in the Gunnison River. It doesn't harm them, it just keeps them from wanting to pass into the tunnel and it can allow the irrigation operations to occur as they have historically. Soon, design modifications were completed and the penstocks were placed and backfilled. Most recently, Site 3 presented another challenge. Fast-flowing bypass water pushed loose several of the tri-lock blocks used to line the tail race, a point at which water is returned to the canal after passing through the generator. To repair this, the canal was dewatered and the blocks were covered with concrete. The repair lasted a mere two days, during which water was released from the Ridgeway Reservoir to make up for loss of flows through the South Canal. Again, the local contract crews displayed their ability to adapt and perform efficiently under pressure. With the challenges having been soundly overcome, the South Canal Hydroelectric Project came online within the projected time range and has been generating clean, renewable energy for our communities. Another part of the hundred-year-old vision has been realized, but more remains to be done. As long as the people of the Uncompahgre Valley still believe in it, 
that vision can carry on into the future. <laughs>